It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. Number one, Judge Amy Coney Barrett is now United States Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett after a Monday evening confirmation vote by the United States Senate. Barrett goes to work today fully shifting the vote on the high court for what could be years, if not decades. This is the latest confirmation that every vote counts. For conservatives, this puts firmly into place a conservative agenda. For liberals, this indicates the need to vote in every election for every office. The slim majority held by Republicans in the United States Senate could shift one week from today. And the questions are, have you voted and will you vote? Number two, education experts are voicing concern about the instability of school reopenings and its negative effect on students' and teachers' performance and mental health. The on-again, off-again patchwork of school reopenings reflects the immense political and social strain imposed on the education system to resume operations quickly. The pandemic's effect on our children's education and mental health, as well as the teachers, may be felt for decades. Number three. The White House is facing backlash from health experts and concerned citizens after Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said in an interview Sunday that the U.S. is not going to control the pandemic. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden and his running mate Kamala Harris responded to Meadows' statement, saying the White House is admitting defeat against the pandemic. Over the last seven days, the U.S. has added over 480,000 new cases, the most the country has added in a single week. Number four, in a historic move, Pope Francis has named 72-year-old Chicago native Archbishop Wilton Gregory as the first African-American Catholic cardinal. This summer, Archbishop Gregory was a vocal critic of Donald Trump after he ordered the forceful removal of nonviolent protesters so that he could stand in front of the St. John Paul II National Shrine in Washington for a photo op. Bishop Gregory, along with 12 other churchmen, will receive the coveted red hat in a ceremony November 28th. Number five, for decades, local officials have been overvaluing black homes, in turn leading to black homeowners paying property taxes that are ridiculously high in relation to the value of their property. In the wake of the pandemic, cities across the country have offered temporary tax breaks for those who were financially affected. As a result, officials are finally starting to scrutinize the inflated property taxes that black homeowners have had to deal with. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Sisters United for Reform as we discuss voter mobilization, education, engagement, and more. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.